NWO Report Special News Update. China has unveiled the world's first artificial sun, which is capable of reaching 100 million degrees Celsius. It's staggering six times hotter than our own sun. Using nuclear fusion, scientists hope that the artificial sun will help bring us one step closer to creating unlimited clean energy. Now, the actual name of China's artificial sun is HL2M, which doesn't make it sound all that special. The reactor is located in the Sikan province, where it was built to research fusion technology by the China National Nuclear Corporation and the Southwestern Institute of Physics. In reality, it's become so much more and is potentially the future of the world's energy. Now, how does it work? This is essentially a giant nuclear fusion device, which basically forces atoms together, which releases heat, which can then be harvested for energy. While the device is being referred to as an artificial sun, it can actually reach temperatures 13 times hotter than the real sun in our solar system. The HL2M will be able to reach 200 million degrees Celsius, 360 million degrees Fahrenheit compared to just 15 million degrees Celsius or 27 million degrees Fahrenheit of our sun. The resulting energy is not only cheaper, but it is also a lot cleaner than current nuclear options meaning that Earth wouldn't get damaged from it. That being said, it is not as straightforward as it seems. There are, of course, a number of issues when dealing with such high temperatures, the main one being that they're difficult to achieve. Completing reactions like this can be complicated and need to be done correctly so that they don't go wrong. The consequences could be dire. Therefore, there are a number of issues that need to be worked out before this sun can be put to work. While it's not yet functional, it will be soon, and the artificial sun could possibly revolutionize the world's energy sources in the way we use it. Or it could be a massive disaster that could destroy this planet. Leave your comments below this video. Thanks for watching.